Hi folks, uh, it is the third week of Easter and we are getting ready for the fourth week of Easter, which uh, that Sunday is a Sunday that's near and dear to my heart. It is Good Shepherd Sunday. And uh, the reason I love it so much is because I grew up at the Church of the Good Shepherd Episcopal uh, in uh, Athens, Ohio. So this is in many ways a patronal or at least a dedicatory feast for me. The other thing I love about Good Shepherd Sunday is that we are challenged by Jesus um, to take and put on many hats. One of those is to appreciate um, the place we have in his care as sheep of his flock, um, entrusted and kept safe under his abiding attention, but also um, to be provoked into being the shepherds of the flocks around us that need help and guidance and care and the good news preached to them. There's a last image that I think is really important in these times for us, and that is the image of the gate. Jesus claims that identity as well. A gate in a sheepfold was essential and important. It was uh, the gap in the wall that uh, protected the flock and encircled it, but there had to be an open place for the sheep to go in and out and for the shepherd to move in and out. Um, Jesus describes himself as the gate, the the place and the breach that uh, protects, uh, cares for, but also opens the way for the flock to go in and to go out. So I think of that as I think about St. Peter's and I think about our ministry of presence now in this time of pandemic. Um, even though we are isolated from each other, I'm impressed by how this community of faith continues to um, act as a gate for people to open the way so that people may move from place to place and get assistance. If it's uh, food from the food pantry or if it's care and support in our team uh, pastoral coverage of households as they go through coronavirus, quarantine and illness, um, or even if it's just in the simple connections we make via prayer, um, via fellowship, and also via formation classes. Um, we have all these things going on and we continue to seek to find ways to strengthen ourselves in the life of Christ here at St. Peter's. And if you're watching this video now, you realize you're an intrinsic part of that journey that we are taking together. And I look forward to having deeper conversations. A couple of things are going to be happening this week that I'm looking forward to. One is the men's breakfast is going to be meeting on Saturday, and uh, we're looking forward to having that be a fellowship time for the men of the parish to gather virtually. Um, at 8.30 on our Zoom meeting. You can find that link in the uh, e-news below this video. As well, we're going to try something that other churches have tried. I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Um, a virtual coffee hour. If you have uh, ever been to St. Peter's, you know that coffee hour fellowship is a very important time for us. The opportunity we have to laugh and talk and catch up on the week and share the news and the peace of Christ is important. So it's another way for us to attempt to gather virtually. But finally, and most importantly, I urge you, um, in your prayers and in your contemplations, uh, in your several places where you live, where you work, where you dwell and have your being, take time this week. Pray for those around you and love and sustain them in grace. Uh, I'm Marshall Shelley. I'm the priest here at St. Peter's in Spotswood, and uh, we are praying for you. So we bid you grace and peace in our risen Lord Jesus Christ. We bid you a blessing upon your life, upon your household, and also we hope soon to be able to welcome you home um, to St. Peter's. So please do continue to think about joining us and taking part in our life together in Christ. Thank you so much, and thank you for your support. If you'd like to make a donation to continue to support our ministries, uh, if you'd please feel free to make that via Zoom. Um, I'm sorry, via Realm, the, dot, the uh, again, the link is in the emails below me, and also we'll make it available to anyone who's interested via direct message. Um, but you are most welcome this day, and uh, please remember your church, please remember your community, please remember your neighbors, and offer care and love in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ to all. God's blessing be upon you. Amen.